Hi, and welcome to OurChurch.com's video tutorial series on WordPress. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to update the settings on how someone who comes to your website can view the items in your calendar. So when you're logged into the back end or the dashboard of the website, move your cursor down to the Pushpin Events item, and then click on Settings. Now there's many different things that you can change or configure back here, but on this particular video, we're just going to look at the viewing events settings. So right now it shows that the calendar is currently viewed on the page that's called calendar. Now there are other pages that you can put that on, but currently we want to have it stay on calendar. It allows you to change what day of the week the week starts on. Most people would have the week start on Sunday, so we will keep it as Sunday. And then the available view, so these are the different ways that people can view the calendar when they come to the website. So they can actually select any of these that you have check marked. So most of us know what a month view is that will show the entire month, or a week view that will show just the week that you're in, or the day view, which will just show the events for the particular day that they're on. And they can, of course, change those if they want to look at a day view and then change it to the week or the month. But you may not know what poster board or agenda views are. So I'm going to show you that a poster board view shows in a kind of like a poster board appearance what the next upcoming events are. Now this particular event is the only event that we have in the calendar right now and it occurs on a monthly basis. So the image that is captured in the poster view is going to be the same and all of the other information will, uh, will be the same except for the date. But if these were different upcoming events, then it would have a different image. If you had an image, it would have a different description uh, and so on and so forth. For the agenda view, that just lists all of the upcoming events in a different format. And since we have only one event in this calendar, they all say church picnic at the church campus. The date changes, but the time uh, is the same. So there are other items that you can change or configure in how people view the calendar events. You can pre-select calendar filters. So if you have different calendar uh, filters or categories uh, that people can select, those can be checked in there. And then the poster board tile minimum is 240 pixels, and that is the, uh, the default, and that's what we recommend keeping it on. Poster board pages show at the most 30 events. You can change that if you don't want people to, to view as many as 30 events in the poster board view, and the agenda pages show at the most 10 events. We're going to go ahead and change this to 10 events in the poster board pages view. And then there are some other areas that you can configure um, if you want to show the location in event titles, if you want to hide the Google Maps, all of these things you can change by just simply clicking in the checkbox or unclicking the checkbox. And then when you're done, simply click on Update Settings, and that will have changed all the settings that you have modified uh, when you went through that process. So I hope this helps uh, you understand exactly how to change the viewing settings for visitors when they come to your website and view the calendar. Please come back and watch other video tutorials so you can effectively use your website.